Welcome back to the program. We continue our short series on insurance with Head of Insurance at one of the local financial services institutions, Mosadi Ngwe Musini. Tonight, she speaks of some of the short-term insurance products that exist within the market and how to determine which one would best suit your needs. Sadi, thank you so much for coming back again on First Issues. We are still continuing our conversation on insurance. Previously, we spoke about um, the funeral policy plan, right, mm -hmm. as one of the long-term insurance plans. So you did mention previously also that there is a short-term um, insurance plan. Perhaps you could talk about some of the products that exist within that type of insurance. Short-term or general insurance? would be insurance that we um, that in covers tangible things, your cars, your cell phones, and, and things like that. Um, and in there also, you can cover both uh, businesses as well as individuals. So for businesses, it would be your office blocks, your schools, your um, factories, your mines, things like that. And for the home, it would be your house, domestic dwelling. It would be the contents of your house. It would be your vehicles and things like that. Um, and there are various products in the market. Um, various insurers, various brokers have got insurance plans. Or Yes. So um, in FNB, we've got um, the personal lines uh, insurance plan which is specific, specifically tailor-made for our uh, retail consumers or our retail customers. Um, by, retail, by retail customers, I mean individuals or people. Um, so it will be your house, uh, whether in town or at home. It's also important actually to mention that you don't have to insure your house only when it has a mortgage. So your house at the farm that you built is structurally sound. Um, you can insure it as well. Um, it does not have to have a mortgage in it at all. Remember, insurance is about protecting yourself. So that house, you, you built it with funds that you've tied up in that structure. Whether you got the funds from a bank or they're from your pockets or from your crawl because as Botswana, we will use uh, our cattle to build. So, important to remember that it does not have to have a mortgage. Um, actually, talking about uh, even cattle, using cattle to build, we can also find um, insurance for our crops and our, our cattle. So, there is ag agricultural insurance as well, which does fall under short-term uh, insurance. I want you to talk about um, the personal insurance plan um, that exists in the bank. There's the car you mentioned. I want you to talk about the details of that as well. So the FNB personal um, lines uh, plan covers um, the house, the houses. It does not matter how many houses you have. Um, it will cover the household contents. Um, it will also cover all risks uh, items. These all risk items are items such as watches, such such as laptops. So things that you can carry outside your your house. Um, it also um, I think what differentiates it uh, from other policies in the market is that it is embedded with uh, legal insurance. So there's a hundred thousand legal insurance embedded that co comes embedded in the in the in the plan as well as um, roadside assist. So this roadside assist um, does not include medical evacuation. It is uh, for vehicle, vehicle breakdowns. Uh, so you just call a number and the people will be there to assist you. Well, Sadi, this is the point, of course, where we talk about the terms and conditions of you know, personal insurance plans. What are they? What must people be aware of when they're taking out these insurance plans? So the thing about it is to do a needs analysis. Um, so your broker should do a needs analysis. Needs analysis is really to say um, what do you need, what do you have, what are the gaps, so that they can provide you with the gaps. Um, there's literally no point in taking a hundred funeral plans or double insuring your house 
or over insuring your house the thing is to make sure that you are adequately insured you are not over insured or under insured so it's important uh, to periodically even annually take a look at uh, what you have um, for example um, you had insurance for maybe life cover for a million then you have another child um, and you want to increase that or even um, let's take a house and as an example you go you do an extension or you refurbish the value changes the, the insurance replacement value changes you then need to periodically look and inform your insurer of the changes that you've made so it's important to keep your your needs um, and your portfolio updated um, as much as possible. This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana.